uh, sheds being torn down. So it was in 1887 at the time that there were three market houses in the city. So there was the farmer market, farmer's market, which is at current day, uh, Penn Market. And there are two others which are no longer standing. And that same year, York received its city charter, which was led by a mayor and two councils consisting of 30 people total. So they were getting back into, you know, government things. And according to Prowl, the removal of the market sheds was one of the first topics brought up for discussion. Mm. So why was that? Uh, the congregation of farmers and livestock in the middle of the city left feces. They left feathers and blood everywhere. So it wasn't the most hygienic of yeah, times to yeah. live. So many felt that this was really unsanitary and it was a nuisance, which, I mean, I, I can't understand that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. So there was also economic pressure of a growing industry. So you're not going to have new businesses wanting to move move into a place that they think not only looks bad, but could make them sick. Yeah. So, and, and part of that industry is that previous year in mm -hmm. 1886, the York Railway Company was formed. And guess where they wanted to go through? How right? convenient. Right, right, right downtown <laughs> where the market sheds were. Um, so this really laid the tracks for the trolleys were at, at the time they were, would have been pulled by horses. Which is such a, such a juxtaposition of like these big yeah. trolleys being pulled by horses. I wish, I wish I could see that. Um, and like we said, the market sheds in the square would have prevented friends from connecting. Yeah. So on June 27th, 1887, the city administration passed a resolution to tear them down. That's sad. <laughs> so what did the public think about this? So we know that at least a few wanted to keep the sheds because of an injunction was threatened to prevent the tearing down mm -hmm. of the market sheds. However, it didn't amount to much. And three days later, the mayor ended up approving the resolution. Mm -hmm. So the market sheds were torn down, a kind of return to lawlessness that the original courthouse on that site was meant to combat. Yeah. And, you know, here we are taking, you know, another step backwards. Mm -hmm. Um, but the loss of the sheds also showed a, sif a shifting focus from um, farming to industrialism. And as represented by the trolleys needing to transport all of the products and all of the people through the central place in York. Yeah. So before we had these butchers and these farmers mm -hmm. showing up. And now we're saying, no, we want trolleys. Yeah. to just send industry as fast and, as possible. Yep. What we find interesting is the time of day that the mayor chose to tear down these sheds. Mm -hmm. um, it was at 12.05 a.m., which is right after <laughs> midnight. Yeah. It's just peculiar, peculiar. It took another two hours, though, for them to start the deconstruction process because mm -hmm. does anyone remember what was uh, close to the sheds? Anyone? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Very close. So we built the courthouse and... The jail. The jail. Yeah, the jail. So the jail was actually built underneath the market sheds. Mm -hmm. So there were two guys down there that were presumably placed for public drunkenness. Um, so they had to like get them out and then, and then start the process. Um, you're just in jail and all of a sudden they start like tearing the whole thing down <laughs> around you. You're like, what's going on? So um, there was close to 150 years ago, so there were no excavators or dump trucks to help with this initiative. So instead, 20 men used seven mules and three horses to pull apart the wooden structures. So despite it being in the middle of the night, the police were there to keep order. And there is a pathway because of the crowd that had gathered. So there was a lot of people, you know, gathering around. Why are you guys pulling down a shed yeah, at yeah. 12 a.m.? <laughs> so apparently someone then pulled a fire alarm that was mounted on a flagpole located right between the sheds. So too bad that we can't talk to that person. I'd love to ask them like, hey, what were you doing out yeah, there? Right, you know, right. were, causing you, were you trying to create chaos and stop the shed pulling down? I know, you know, like, people think like that kind of rowdy stuff is modern. Yeah. No, like they did that kind of stuff back then too. <laughs> they didn't have social media to catch them. Right, yeah, it wasn't on TikTok or Facebook Live. <laughs> So as people gathered in the square, um, what they would have seen is a great cloud of dust, you know, and like the moonlight. Um, mm -hmm. And it was the end of this era. So within a matter of hours, the vendor stalls and the butcher blocks were, were flat on the earth and, and it yeah. ceased to exist. The workers cleaned up by hauling away the debris. And so the York Gazette at the time, they wrote that by noon, hardly a vestige of those dingy quarters of dirt, dirty tramps were visible. Wow. So the mayor ended up defending his decision to tear this down in the middle of the night. Um, he was claiming that he wasn't trying to avoid an injunction. <laughs> he said that it was only easier to accomplish the demolition when there would be no people or traffic in the square. Uh, there was a big crowd of people. So I don't know about that. <laughs> it's one of those things that it, it does sound legitimate. I can understand. It does. Oh, yeah. And I mean, if you look at today, a lot of road work is happening at night. There's less traffic. Yeah. So like the intention was there. It could have been. I don't know. It kind of seems shady. It though. does sound a little bit. 
Um, so while the sheds are completely gone, mm -hmm. there's no, no echoes of their past. We can't see them outside of pictures. There is one thing from our history that is very visible in the square, which we yes. wanted to talk about. Yes. Um, so these are the trolley master stations, sometimes nicknamed the teapot dome. And they would have served as the nerve center between all the trolley cars and our complex streetcar system. Uh, it stands proudly even today at York's Continental Square, and it facilitated the movement of people and freight. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it was just, it's just kind of a cool thing that we have is like a tip to our hat. It is. And they're beautiful, or at least I think they are. Yeah. So the last trolley bell clanged in 1939, but this booth still lives on as a testament to that. And later on functioning as a bus dispatching station and a shelter for police. So York is proud to have preserved this important part of the York County transportation system history so that it can be enjoyed by everybody. Yeah. So let's move to another part of the square. Um, oh, yeah, here's another cool picture that just kind of shows you um, the um, teapot dome and then how the trolleys would have been right past and it. And it looks like it's raining the 